Today we're going to be grinding for even more of the brand new shiny shadows. And luckily for me, I have a Sierra right here, but not only that, the balloon is also a Sierra, which is just fantastic. We do need three of the trap inches if we want to complete the set. So let's see what happens. We have our first Sierra of the entire video. And this is my first one of the day. So let's say we start with a green one. We do not, sadly, 250. I don't quite remember what the hundo is for the trap inch, but I know that the Cacnea that we're also looking for would be a 280 non-weather boosted. So for fun, let's take a quick look at this one and see what it is. A 250 is not great at all. We want something far higher than that. And here's the second Sierra. Sierra, I know we had a rough time last time. Could we please make it a little better this time, but not this time. 271. When it comes down to levels, this 271 might actually be pretty decent. So I'll show you the IVs of this one real quick. So let's see what happens. This one is a 13153. That's actually pretty good. Now, as I mentioned in previous video, Volibee is in the wild and it has a boosted shiny rate, but not only that, they are also in researches, specifically in this one that I have right here, which is to defeat four Team Go Rocket grunts. Though it is not a guaranteed chance that it'll be a Volibee, it could also be a Dino. So let's see what happens here. This one is a Volibee, thankfully. That's really good. But there's also another research out there, and that is to defeat a Team Go Rocket leader, and that one gives you either a Volibee or Ponyard, which is a way better spread, because both of those are shiny boosted and usually exclusive to the 12 kilometer eggs. Unfortunately, I haven't been lucky enough to find one of those tasks, but at least I'm finding more of these leaders. There is a Sierra right here, so let's do it. So far, only Sierra's in this video. I'm sure we're gonna see an Arlo eventually, but let's see this one, not green still, and a 254. We already know that's bad. And now we found our first Arlo of the video. Will we start off with an orange cactus? That would be so cool, but we don't, unfortunately. 233, pretty far down there, so at least it wasn't as shiny in terms of bad IVs. Even though you don't really need a good Cagnia, I would like to get a good shiny shadow. It's been a little while. Not gonna lie, this looked really exciting in the very beginning until you look here and there's two Cliffords. At least there's an Arlo at the very least, but it's still too far away. And hopefully these other leaders nearby turn out to not be Cliffords, because I mean, this is a nice little cluster. And here's that Arlo. Let's see what Arlo gives us. Not an orange cactus, 246. I've yet to see a really good cactus. Hopefully we'll see one soon. You know, I should also probably be working on page 205 for this. So let's just complete these real quick and get all of the items. And let's see what the final rewards are gonna be. 2000 XP and a Mastrebius. Not exactly the most exciting thing, but cool. And for page three, we need to defeat each of the Team Go Rocket leaders. And we know that there's some cliffs back there and there was a Sierra that I was just out of range for. So hopefully the one I'm heading to will be Arlo because that should be the one like straight down there. But pretty nice that we're pretty close to completing this. Well, this is just stupid lucky. This actually did turn out to be an Arlo, so that's great. Now I know where one of all the three are. We can just easily smash this out. And here's the Arlo. We've completed that part, and he's gonna give us a shiny shadow cactus. No, he isn't. Okay. 263. Decently up there, all things considered. That's only 17 off the hundo. Here's that Sierra I mentioned earlier. She has a not great and a 236 seems pretty bad, not gonna lie. And here's the only cliff we're gonna be doing, because we have to do it, but watch as it's shiny. Thank goodness. I would have hated if we wasted our shiny luck on that. Though admittedly, a 273 is not bad. That's pretty up there. Though if it was shiny, it might have been a purifiable shundo, but we'll see what happens with this one. I want to say it's like 277 or something like that. It's... No, okay, never mind. No, you want to be a lot higher than that. Maybe it's like 477 as a weather boosted. I think that's the hundo. Now let's claim all the rewards for page 3 of 5. Let's claim all of that XP. 7,500 in total, and actually, no, it's going to be 10,000 in total with the super rocket radar. And now I'm going to assume we have to equip the radar, we gotta find the boss, battle him, and then defeat him. Which we're not gonna be doing, because we already got that ground on. But it's good to have the super rocket radar for the future, and it's already, well, well, we gotta equip it real quick, so let's equip it and then unequip it. And usually there was, like, a little animation for that, but whatever. I'm gonna unequip it real quick, because I really don't want to be running into Giovanni right now. Though in the future I might use it for more decoys. I want to get a really good Shadow Bells, bro. We're now back to the leaders, and we have ourselves an Arlo. Come on, Arlo. Oh, man. I really want to see this one. I think this one's gonna look really good. With the eyes and everything, it already looks kind of evil as it is. So with like the angry red eyes, it's just gonna look so good. This Arlo was very rough. We almost lost this one. So hopefully he has an orange cactus, but he doesn't. I was really hoping he'd have one to make up for how rough that battle was. 264 though isn't bad. I think that's like the biggest ones we've seen so far. Boom. There we go. Took a while to find this Sierra, but I'm glad that we did because she didn't have a shiny. Okay. I also did find another Sierra a little bit earlier, but I was on a somewhat important phone call, so I couldn't just hang up and do it. But it obviously wasn't a shiny and it was also pretty bad. And here's our first batch of the brand new 12 kilometer eggs that could potentially have a shiny sand dial in them. Though I've yet to see anything on social media, so I hope they did release it, but let's see what happens. On the upside, these eggs have an equal chance for everything, including sand dial, and hopefully we will see a shiny sand dial. I love sand dial. You guys know I've been grinding for a hundo for a while, and I just really want to get the shiny too, because it has a good shiny, but so far we've got ourselves a Ponyard. But maybe number three will be a Larvitar. Six more chances to hopefully see at least one sand dial. This one's going to be a Dino. Good spread at least, no doubles just yet. This one is another 
another Larvitar. Spoke too soon. What about you? Another Larvitar. Where are those sand isles? You're going to be another Ponyard, followed up by another Salandit. Come on, Sand Isle. No, Pancham. And that's everything for the first one. That's unfortunate, but let's just do some IV checks and see what we got here. Maybe there's a Hundo in here. Also, a female Salandit would be cool, but that's a male. Let's keep digging. That's another male. Yeah, well, we got an XXL 98%. That's kind of cool. I'll hold on to that for the future. You never know when we're going to have that King Gambit showcase. Now that those eggs are done, we're going to get back to those leaders and pick up even more eggs. Hopefully those eggs will be better though, but this Sierra is a huge one, but sadly not a shiny. That would have been so cool. And a 244, we already know that's not very great, but of course it wastes to attack once I throw the ball. There we go. We've got an Arlo, and then afterwards my balloon has a Sierra. So let's check this real quick. Not a shiny shadow, 263. Perfectly fine. Maybe the balloon will be better to us. Balloon Sierra, please have the luck. It'd be so cool, but you don't. 261. Eventually we're going to see some good IVs, at least hopefully. I don't know what happened, but the leaders are pretty scarce in this area. Luckily there are three of them here. One of them's an Arlo. I have no idea what the others are, but Arlo did not have a shiny shadow. 247. Hopefully the other two here will be good because unfortunately I do have something that's going to be coming up somewhat soon and I do have to make it over there pretty quickly. We've now made it to the destination I mentioned earlier. It's the movie theaters. I really want to watch the new Godzilla vs. Kong and we might as well do it early so that we can get it for a cheaper price, yada yada. But luckily on the theater there was an Arlo and he did not have a shiny shadow with him and this is a 238. Oh well, let's see if this new movie gives us some shiny luck. I don't see how it would, but maybe it will. Well, that was a fun movie. If you like Godzilla stuff, you're gonna like it. It's not amazing. I think that, like, Godzilla Minus One was way better, but it's still a fun movie. They're definitely fully embracing the whole we're a monster movie thing, and I freaking love it. It was pretty good. Now we're gonna go back at it with these leaders. I've got an Arlo, and he does not have an orange one. That 256. Two Arlos in a row, and no shiny still. 275, though. That is five off the Hundo. We'll see how good that turns out to be. I do believe what I read was correct. I think 280 is the Hundo, so this one is yeah, not bad. If 15, 14, 12. Probably would have been a purifiable hundo if we didn't get the 15 in attack. Three Arlos in a row. Let's see what happens with this one. It's still not orange. 255. Switching it back to Sierra, and she's gonna have a green trap inch right here. Oh my goodness, I wish. Eventually I'll be able to call that, but it hasn't happened in a very long time. And now we're back to Arlo yet again, and he does not want to have any orange cactuses on him. On the upside, my balloon has also just got here, and it's also an Arlo, so we'll bring that down in a second. And the balloon Arlo will give us a still green one, 246. Found a Sierra in the park and she decided to not bring a shiny with her for a picnic. There's another Sierra in the park. Let's see what she has, a still orange one, which is funny. We won a green trap inch, but we won an orange Cagnia. I just realized. Well, believe it or not, I ran into Tommy and by run into him, I mean like he he was he said he wanted to grind rockets. So obviously yeah. I was gonna be like, yes, but hey, Tommy, help me out. He pulled up as I was battling the Sierra, it's, Still not, not it. Green. I'm trying, man. I just told them, I was like, it's funny how I'm looking for an orange cacnea, but a green trap inch. <laughs> just need to switch them around. But anyways, what are you hoping for? Like, what are we looking for? I mean, apparently Darmok is pretty easy, but what are you looking Darmok for? Darmok is pretty easy, but I mean, uh, dragons. Yeah. Um, rock. Yeah, so, yeah the Cranidosis. Yeah. I've yet to see one, but he's seen a few, so that's good to know. Drillbur. Yeah. Um, I, I, honestly, I haven't seen Drillbur either. It's been yeah. kind of rough out there. No, I saw like three last night. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Two out of three of them turned into Rhyhorn. Fantastic. <laughs> mm. Oh, Sierra, if only you would have a shiny. You just still don't, huh? 249 as well. Did you do this one too? Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> well, this is fun. We got a shiny Volibee. Like I said, these things are boosted. Make sure to just click on as many of these as possible. Whatever you do, don't hit bumps while you try to catch shinies, but it's fine. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a good one here. That'd be nice. I really want to get a Hundo because I want to have a Hundo Volibee. I do have a Hundo Mandibuzz, so I'd love to have a Hundo Volibee. Not that this one would be a Hundo or anything, but it's a eh, 5, 14, 13. It's not bad, all things considered. That's pretty good, but that's like our third Volibee of this event. If you guys don't have this, like I said, just please click on as many of these as possible. You really want to. The balloon had a Sierra and... Oh, it was a shiny shadow. Let's go. Look at that. I'm so happy. <laughs> and only on day two, so that's great. Sierra, thank you. I appreciate it. The balloon luck seems to have kicked in. We already know that it's not good as a 250 something, but I honestly do not care. You know, 
I just want to complete these sets, so that is amazing. And maybe PvP. Like, this thing is good as a Flygon in PvP, so oh, I'm just so glad. Arlo, can we back-to-back -back it? That'd be cool. We didn't, though. And a 250. Again, 30 off the hundo. How about you, Sierra? Can we back-to-back -back it with you specifically? No. And 246. How about you, Sierra? Can we back-to-back -back it? Well, I mean, that's technically not a back-to-back. -back. I'm losing my brain. Either way, it's not another shiny, but just fine. I'm just happy that we got the one. And a 251, we already know it's not great. Sierra, yet again, she has a 422. Oh, they're weather boosted now. No clue. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's bad. We'll find out later. We've now parted ways with Tommy, and we got a shiny right away. Another shiny Volo B. This is my, I think, fourth or fifth one this event. Definitely boosted, in case you were wondering. They are definitely boosted. This event is really good. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's not the best event we've ever had, but the fact that these are out and like this is just great for people. Because not everybody focuses on those 12 kilometer eggs, and you definitely want to try to get yourself a Shundo, because it's a pretty decent shot. You know what they say, with orange light comes orange cactus. <laughs> I wish. 435. This is also weather boost. No clue if this is good or not. Another Arlo here. He does not have a shiny and a 403. The 423 was okay, but definitely could be a little bit better. Three Arlos in a row. No shiny still. 429. Four Arlos in a row here. No orange though. 416. And here's 12 12 kilometer eggs. I have seen some pictures now of shiny Sandile. I know that they exist, so hopefully we'll see one here because I love Sandile. But we're starting off with Alarvatar, but that's fine. We still have 11 chances. Is, and, all right, maybe 10 chances. At least we get a lot of dust from hatching these eggs. This one is of a room. I also want a hundo of that as well. I just want the hundo living decks, or not the living decks, but just the hundo decks to be filled up. Anyways, that's a pan cham on number four. How about number five? We get a dino. All right, Sandile, you are allowed to be hatched. I know you are, but that's a pawn yard. This one is of a room. Come on, buddy. <laughs> it's so funny because like, I've seen so many Sandiles out of these eggs. There we go. I was about to say, but now they, they can be shiny they won't be, you know, able to be hatched. Anywho, what about this one? We got ourselves another dino. This one's gonna be another dino. And you are a Pancham. And that is everything. Oh boy. Let's take a look and see what we got here, but seeing only one sand isle is pretty bad. That's a male Salandit right there. Let's just keep going. And it's looking like nothing too crazy, unfortunately. Got another Sierra. Let's see what she has for us. Another green. Oh, no way! Two shiny shadows in one freaking day! Sierra is just being a amazing for us. That is insanity. Thank you so much, Sierra. I really appreciate this. This is insanity. And it's crazy because the day's almost up. We might be able to get like one or two more, but I'm not going to complain if we don't. Two in one day is ridiculous. And this one is not the best, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to finish that set. All right, Arlo, you've seen that Sierra has been pretty awesome to us. So can you give us? No, you cannot. But that's, hey, again, I cannot complain. Two in one day is ridiculously good. Arlo, let's try this one more time, huh? Come on, orange. No, okay. 429, still not the best, but again, doesn't matter. We're not trying to get a good one. We just want to get ourselves a shiny. It's now officially 10 p.m., which means all the leaders are gone for the night, and my 10 p.m. balloon was sadly a Clifford. But I mean, in total, we've done 38 leaders, like, completely throughout this entire event, and we already have two shiny shadows, which is pretty ridiculous. Nothing too incredible when it comes down to IVs, but in the end of the day, it is what it is on that. It's a 1 in 4,096 chance of getting anything you're trying to get from these. Even with a weather boost, it goes up by a little bit because at the minimum I think they could be like a 222 or higher but even then it's still a pretty low odd you're gonna get what you're looking for but yeah two shinies is crazy and here they both are we got this trap itch right here that we just recently got and then we got this one I'm thinking we're going to evolve this one because this one's closer for PvP I don't know if I would ever use this one specifically because I think I have a pretty good shadow flag on but nonetheless we might as well get ourselves a really good shiny shadow vibrava which is a very beautiful shiny yeah look at that that actually looks really good with the really red eyes even though I think it already has red eyes so technically this thing is really just double red eyed or whatever. I mean, it looks cool nonetheless though. And also while I remember to do it, I definitely want to get rid of frustration on both of these shinies because I really don't want this thing to have frustration. Not that it overly matters, but I really do want them to not have frustration just for my own personal, you know, just thing. And I also have some Raikus that I need to do that too as well. So I'm going to have a little while of doing this. But now that we've done those evolutions, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for me. Show me some love. We're trying to hit 200K subscribers. And let me know in the comments down below if you're hunting these shiny shadows, have you gotten any of them? And also, have you hatched a shiny sand dial? I'd say that's a pretty big win if you have. And if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see even more of it, I highly suggest this video over here. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.